Hey guys and girls! Welcome to Moonlighter. Um, now, this is just sort of a quickest place. It's one off. I don't know how long, even how long this video is going to be. But this is a game that, that popped up onto Steam um, among other platforms. I think it's on PS4, not 100%. Um, it was just while searching for random games to play. I seen this one, it, it looked pretty cool. Um, it's a roguelike RPG uh, with the best of both worlds, essentially. Um, about um, a character named Will, and I don't know a whole lot about it. I just know that there's there's shop management and there's adventure. So um, we're gonna jump into it. Just kind of a first look. I'm gonna leave the Steam page, I think, in the description there on the bottom. Uh, if you guys maybe think it looks cool and want to purchase it, definitely do so. It's, it's only $20. Uh, not that bad. Um, and it's from a smaller company, I believe, as well. Uh, so, let, yeah, let's do this. Uh, can we change in options later? Hard is recommended, so I'm gonna, I guess, do what's recommended of me. We'll see how this game plays out. I really know next to nothing other than what I've told you. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. It looks beautiful, I have to say that much. They called them the dungeons, strange ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Okay, I, I missed something there. A village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeon this they named R Ryunoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine bright as heroes and merchants, glory and riches. The dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. And that's our character, Will Moonlighter. I assume. I missed some text there, I know for sure. <laughs> uh, my screen was a little cut off. So we're, we're thrown right into it. Um, look at this little guy. Look at him. <laughs> he looks cool. Um, we're in a dungeon. We have a dodge row. Um, I assume they're going to tell us the rest of the controls. So let's just go this way. Um, right off the bat, I'm loving the style. Um, it, it, it has um, changing maps, almost like uh, the old school like Zelda games. Um, it also has... Uh, It's a roguelike, so it has roguelike elements, which is kind of cool. I think that's what they're telling me here, yeah, to the, the, the dodge. Okay. Okay, so that's cool. That's how I get across these. Uh, is to go. Ooh. Oh, God, that was close to what I thought. Ooh. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, my God. How do we get by him? Do we wait till he turns? It says LT, but I don't get it. Was I supposed to do it fast, maybe? Like, oh, that works somehow. I don't, I don't understand what I did different there. Um, Break them. Oh, I can hit A. Oh, I got a hammer. Look at that. <laughs> or no, that's a broom. <laughs> what the heck? Taste my broom. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a lot of slimes. 
take all of these. What's RT? Oh, to use potions. Okay. I got you there. Throne of death. Rah. Rah. So yeah, this guy, um, he has dreams of being a hero, um, essentially, and, and finding out the fabric and essentially getting um, to the final level of this supposed crazy dungeon um, but then uh, he runs a shop so essentially you ha you're coming in here to find to find things um, I guess to sell and uh, you have to balance both es essentially and um oh god oh god we have a charge attack too? What is that about? Oh my lord! Oh, oh no! What is happening here? There's so much going on. Ah! I think my game froze. Ah! Oh my god! That's a lot! Ah! Heal up, heal up! They keep, they keep coming out of these things! How do I get rid of it? What are you doing? <sighs> what the heck? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Was I supposed to die there? I guess I was. That was insane! <laughs> hey, old guy. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit. Will, I have you now. Oh god, perv alert. <laughs> uh, where's he taking me? Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Who's old Pete? Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Kinda. <laughs> well, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You're the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you deaf boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Uh, that reference. <laughs> It's mine from back in the day. That's clear. That was a clear Zelda reference. Use it. I have little need for it now. Sword and shield. Nice. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Yes, sir. Um, can I check my inventory? Is that a thing? It says Y for bag, but it, it doesn't look like I can do anything. All right, so so I can switch to the broom if I wanted, but all right. Successful, successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. How you doing? Welcome to the shop. What can I get you, lady? Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's beautiful. It's a big crystal. It's looking all nice and everything. You want it? Okay. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. 
Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Well, hey, what's up, man? Welcome to the store. How you doing today? Can I help you pick anything out, maybe? You know, try and like... Oh, what? You would... What? You cheapskate. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned. Finally, be careful of selling the popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. You have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. All right, so crystallized energy is good at $100. Uh, anything higher, they don't like it. Uh, I can make it cheaper and they'll like it more, but screw that. <laughs> Um, it would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood. Make us proud, Will. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Now you tell me I have a pendant that can teleport me. <laughs> Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Alright. Good night, sir. Alright, so... So X is block, A is strike. Oh, hey. I sort of always wanted to become a merchant, but I could never find a pendant. Most pendants used today were found when the dungeons were first discovered. Okay, so a pendant is a rare thing that merchants, only merchants are able to really get and or use, correct? Where is my pendant? Am I gonna learn how to use one? So here's the calendar. Uh, all right, I guess we're just gonna go. All right, so here's the dungeon that I was just at, right? Let's get in there. Round two. You slimy crazies. You crazy slimes. Alright. Golem dungeon. I can do this. Oh, that's a dead end. Now that I have an actual sword, we'll make things a lot easier. Ow. I say that and I got. A lot of HP drain from me already. Got you. Let's keep going. that I gotta say I'm really enjoying this so far uh, can I talk to that no okay so B is my pendant from what it looks like down there at the bottom right yeah my way I need to find some good loot I really want to find something cool. Ooh. Ooh, this is ominous. What's happening here? Take these. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across, this r across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this map? Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy, said old Crazy Pete. Done gone, lost his marbles. Oh, this is Pete. The other guy who uh, was looking for the things. Oh, so he's dead. But I was right. Each Guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Rhinoka. Sadly, 
I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door, Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Ah, there it is. Big boss, can I kill me? I supposed to let them all out. How I, now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Now ah, Big Boss gonna be so upset with little me. Okay, so four dungeons, and then you open the middle one. Once all four are open. Okay, now it's telling me about teleporting, I guess, which I should probably do. So we hold him B, and then we get sucked back out. And then that's all the loot, and that's the monsters I fought. That's cool. Interesting. Ah, uh, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get it? You... You found old Pete? Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golden Dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Rhinoka. Nice indeed. Okay, what? And I have money to give them startup capital? Why, no. <laughs> I guess we gotta go check that out. Masa, my son, when I found you. Oh, uh, well, have you seen Masa around by chance? I am not. I don't even know who that is. Uh, investments. Town, shop, I guess shop? Yeah, I can't do nothing with this. Staff. So I can hire people in different shops? Is that what that was about? Oh, yeah. I have no money, though. I can't do nothing of that sort. Um, let's talk to old man here. Okay, I think what we'll do is, uh, we'll open the shop. Because I, I found some stuff, right? I should be able to sell. Oh, they didn't like that price, right? I can change this, can't I? I want to sell it, but yeah, 100. No, you know what? Let's make it 150. I think that's better. Better? Better. Iron bar. Um, we started off at 100. I don't know how rare it really will be, though. Uh, water sphere. Rich jelly. Saw so five of those. Times five. Let's say 200, maybe? No, because why would it be more than that one? Let's, let's go, um, let's go 80. Whetstone, root, vines, and then we'll, we'll sell the water thing, and uh, I'll sell for a hundred. Let's see if people want to buy. Welcome to the store. How you doing, man? We got some good stuff today. Pretty nice, pretty nice sell. Uh, what? Hey, no window shopping. Oh, nice. He liked it. Yay. Alright, thank you very much. You have a nice day. Oh, God. They didn't like them? Why? <sighs> Alright. Let's, let's go 80. And then we'll make this 100. How about that? Better? Dude! This is, it's a steal! <sighs> Fine, 50. Come on. You want it. You want that crystal. You've been looking at it. Yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh. 
What did that dude go to? This one, right? Alright, 50. Oh my lord. <sighs> Fine. $30. Yep, you have a nice day. Thank you very much for the monies. Come on, guys. You guys want them. I know you do. Come on. It's only $30. Yay. Finally. I want to sell those those uh, those rich jellies. <sighs> okay. Okay. We'll lower it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a frugal person, you know. Let's try let's try 30 30 bucks. Um we'll put this in here to Actually, you know what? Let's put all of them. For... 25. Uh, big sale. Big sale. Um, Storm some wet stones. For... No. 15 bucks. How you doing, miss? These bat wings would look nice on your shelf, you know? You know? How you doing, man? You, you enjoying? Enjoying your day? Oh, you like it. Oh, come on. I'm trying my best here, guys. All right, I need to make some moolah. You know what? Let's, let's go 15. 15 seems about a, a, a good enough price. You have a nice one. Ooh, okay. 15. 15 for both. Come on. Come on! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Ten dollars. Come on, people. <sighs> Ten dollars. Ten dollars each. Come on. You know you want it. Well, you were thinking. Oh my lord, people are insane. Alright, alright. Five dollars. Five dollars each. It's a steal. Now you're happy? Yeah, get out. <laughs> and, um... How much did the one thing sell for? Alright, so... The wings. I want to know real fast. Where were they at? Oh, in here. Let's try... Let's try five bucks for these ones, too. Uh, five... And we don't know how much shirt people are buying vines for, so I'm just gonna run them at 10 for now. Alright. Thank you very much. You have a good day. Okay, so that's too much for vines. Let's go five. Five is st a standard number. with me here guys two dollars what about the jellies yay okay it's a night out now thank you ooh she liked it alright I guess it's time to close up not bad Made a pretty good day's profit, I think. 570 big ones. Blacksmiths. Okay, so I, I wanted to do that so I can now hire this guy Vol to get Vulcan's Forge. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? 
I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials a forge to be rocking with. Yeah. Yes, that'd be super useful, I'm sure. Okay, so this is the guy. So he's he basically moved in and turned that place into a forge. This is cool. It's it's got like a harvest moon um uh, not even that. I, you, I want to say maybe like an Animal Crossing feel to it because you're bringing people to your town uh, to open up shops where you can use basically to make stuff. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to go exploring to be able to get some things. Ooh, look at that sword. Yeah. Well, we have one, though, at least, so... Oh, wait. Why has he got that? Is he, does he have a quest, maybe, for him? Or can I make something, is what that's saying. just telling me okay yeah yeah so we'll have to come back to him all right so we're gonna have to deal with what we got for now let's head back into the dungeon we'll see if we can get deeper we gotta we gotta carry on old Pete's legacy <gasps> good old Pete he didn't deserve the way he went out. Ooh, God, I must... Ooh, what was that? Crystal Rock. Ooh, that's got to sell pretty well, I bet. Ooh, there's a chest there. Oh, God, really? Wait, what's that flyer? Why is he picking up loot? Showing upon returning to town. What? What does that mean? Go ruins. Destroy. Destroys one item curse in the direction shown when placed. Why are they like connected? What is that doing? Destroys one item in direction shown upon returning to town. Oh, it's going to destroy an item in the direction that it's pointing. So it's going to destroy this, essentially. Which is fine. I don't care about wood. I don't need that stuff. Oh, wow. Why are there so many notes? Yeah, let's dump these twigs. really don't think we're going to need any of these. Is there a way to grab all? I think so. Yeah, hold to stack. Oh, actually, we might need a little bit for um, crafting purposes.
damage stuff. I kind of want to get rid of something. How do you drop stuff? Is there a place I can drag these things? To drop them? Or is that not possible? That might not be possible. At least I don't know of it. like a certain thing, like a certain time where the pendant actually works, because I don't get it. strange devices that creatures that creature dropped when when he fled this one's rich oh actually almost quite literally rich for every item you place into this device gold of some perceived value drops out it's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch the device looks like a mirror so i'm just gonna call it the, the mirror keeping it simple i do wonder though where do the treasures drop inside go am i getting the best deal here drop things in there and, we, and gold comes out oh so do you have to use gold to to teleport actually no, this one's gonna get destroyed anyway so dump it in there allows merchants to return from dungeons in exchange for gold stuff up. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's go see if uh, we have any materials for anything in particular from this dude. sell. Uh, we got golem cores. They gotta be worth something. Alright. 
it. We'll, we'll, we'll start at 100 and work our way down from there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep two for me. Uh, this, for sure. I'm gonna mark that at 200 and we'll see if they, if they go for it. An empowering stone? We'll sell two of them for... Um, let's start at 80 and see how they fare. Um, Alright, I think we'll go from there and then uh, we'll see what happens. Welcome to the store. How you doing? Hey, it's the old guy that like was annoying at me all the time. Ooh, okay. First price, that's bad. Um, we'll mark it down to 150. We'll see how that works. Kind of gauging prices. I mean, so, some of them might be bad. All right, those are good. That's good. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Uh, let's sell some of these glass lenses. I'll sell four of them for 50. And then we'll sell two of these for, yeah, 30. You gonna buy something, lady, or are you just gonna walk around? See, this guy knows what, he's to, what he wants. Have a good day. <laughs> Yay! Good prices. Everything's working. Come on, it's a diamond. It's a crystal, and you guys are cheap. Let's go 130. I'm not brushing it down to 100 yet. Ooh, I just sold those for a steal, didn't I? My bad. That wasn't supposed to happen, but you got lucky, old timer. You better take it. Oh my god. Alright, 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 fine. You, you guys want it? There it is. So I sold these for 50, which they enjoyed. Let's try 80. Let's see how that fares. enough come on wait I, he's gonna buy it anyway I guess so he th thank you <laughs> hold up guys I gotta get more merchandise I can have stuff in here. <laughs> this is one dollar more because it's special tree wood. <laughs> it's really not, but they'll buy it, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, you know what? Actually, let's put one more of those in there because why not? All right. Take your pick, old timer. I need that a thousand. I'm like right at the cusp hitting it. Come on, buy it. Yes! There's my thousand. Hold up, guys. Don't worry. I got more, I got more profit, I got more stuff, I mean, I got more items for you, you know, totally not, not all for me and my profit, you know, I'm j I aim to please, you know, that's all, come on, you know you two want something, ooh, yeah, you're a lady that knows what you want, right, come on, you need some vines, you need to hang them up, you need to make a hole in the house, Alright, it's nighttime. Get out. Everybody. <laughs> there we go. 
go. Good day at the office. Is there storage? Oh no, what am I doing? I didn't mean to s sleep. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to open this and start storing stuff, because... Uh, quick move all. There you go. Oh wait, things are going on on the board. I got a thousand now, right? So I can get this place. Is brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeons? Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments. Leave that job to others and come to the retailer, where you'll find the finest items in Rhinoka. Because life's complicated enough. <laughs> but I like going to the dungeon. Alright, so we're gonna make one more trip to the dungeon, I think. And then... I'll probably end it off after... Whatever we find. I'm gonna make a... Probably one big trip. And, uh, we'll try and get as far in as we can during, like, the next 20 minutes. What is that? What the heck is this place? Interesting. Why is it, like, warped? Oh, God! Oh, no, oh, no! This is a heal place, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Interesting. Should have broke. Whatever. Oh, give me that. All right, back in Golem Dungeon level two. Oh my God! as if we are fighting an invisible enemy. Every time the room is left empty of people, it seems to vanish. Replaced by another chamber that has already been ransacked. I don't know what all these messages are about. Oh my lord. Ah! Stop doing that!
Actually, you know what? You can destroy the rich pudding stuff because there's like no point of me having it, I think. It doesn't sell well. So it's like, why? One more item dropped by that strange jelly creature. This one is a little more straightforward than the mirror. Similar to our pendants. If given enough gold, we can portal to safety. But, this is a big but. <laughs> the portal remains open after use, meaning one may travel back to the very spot they departed from. Oh, nice. Simply amazing. For the time being, let us call it the catalyst. Quick tip, catalyst requires quite a bit more gold than our pendant. Okay. Well, I got a new item, though. 2,000 gold? Jesus. Okay. I don't even have that, but kind of cool. What is this? scared to lose my stuff right now. Alright. I gotta play it safe. I'm sorry guys that I make it too deep that time around. Um, you know what we need? I think we're gonna need her. So let's, let's open up her shop and then that way we'll be able to buy uh, probably potions. help us survive more in the uh, the dungeon and that way we'll you know we won't die so quick Eris oh a customer my apologies it's just that this book is so good okay yes I'm Eris weaver and potion ma maker come to the wooden hat and you need if you need a potion or enchantment yeah potions Ooh, so these are what those jellies are for Okay, we're gonna have to come back for that once we get more of them. How much stuff we have to sell? Oh yeah, we also got this white stone, which I don't know what it's for, but probably sell well. off at one f 110 and then we'll work our way down Fifty, but we'll pull one back just to see all right so shop set up um i'm actually going to end it here though guys this was a sort of look at um moonlighter which i find to be a charming really cool game if i'm if i'm honest with you um and i'd love to play more if you guys are wanting to see it essentially um Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is a little bit of a new one, I guess, video-wise for me. But not really, because it has RPG elements to it. Um, I just felt like playing something new for once, and uh, this looked awesome. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the Steam page. Uh, the game is $20.
so it's pretty cheap. Um, run a store and dungeon hunt at the, you know, at the same time. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I will see you guys though all in the next video. Bye bye.